Hi, I'm Reese. I'm the CTO of Fora, and we're a user-owned, uncensorable social web three app. This time with traction. So why isn't social web three work? Well, there's a couple of main reasons. For stars, it just wasn't ready. There weren't enough wallets. There's a lot of friction to onboard, and the technology that was there made it slow and expensive. You also have the 900-pound gorilla of Web2 network effects. Why are people join a network with only a few people on it when they could reach a Web2 network that already has a billion users? Other Web3 companies have tried to beat this, but their tokenomics were either too primitive or too centralized. A lot of them are also isolated. They're using chains nobody's heard of, or they just don't have any Web2 integration. So are we Vintage Solana together make the perfect stack? It's an app that's cheap, fast, and scalable. There's enough people for critical mass now. Phantom currently has 3 million monthly active users, and it's growing exponentially. Gaming also typically leads the tech space, and we currently have AAA titles being built on this stack. Audius is crushing it here. They're signing huge artists and just hit a $1 billion token cap. So what does this look like? For starters, you can log in and sign up just like any other uh, website using your Web2 socials. You can log in with Phantom or any other crypto wallet as well, but this feature removes the barrier to entry so that 4 is available to everyone. Our feed looks like and feels like Web2. This gives us feature parity with platforms like Twitter and Facebook and provides a familiar user experience. User accounts, or personas as we call them, maintain this paradigm but add blockchain-specific features like setting your avatar to an NFT you own. We also have in-app and on-chain encrypted messaging between personas. This is a minor but necessary feature for Web2 parity. Liking someone's post sends them one Fora token, and if that isn't enough, you can also tip Sol or Fora tokens directly off of the post. All social actions are transacted in Fora, which supports the creators and makes a dynamic ecosystem in demand for the token itself. We also have long-form rich text posting for parity with platforms like Medium or Substack. Now that you've seen the features, how do we get people using them? A traditional network effect has the bootstrapping problem, i.e. how do you get your initial user base? Web3 unlocks the token network effect to overcome this. While Web2 social media companies have all their equity locked up in the New York Stock Exchange, we're going to be using ours as the ammunition to incentivize early adoption. The token incentives are key, but what happens if we throw the whole kitchen sink at it? We're going to build in-app tools to attract creators and utilize existing Web2 social integrations so that users can cross post to other platforms. At its heart, this is the same strategy that Instagram and TikTok use. They start out as photo and video editing apps. Uh, they allowed users to export their content and shortly after started gaining their own bases of native users. Now I'm gonna hand it over to our CMO, AJ. What's up guys? So whenever we created for it, we really wanted the users at the center of the project. Because of this, whenever we designed our tokenomics, we designed it to where there was 70% of the community token allocation. In addition, our in-app uh, our in-app earnings are designed to stabilize over the course of 10 years. Every single time a person signs up for it, it increases the value of the token itself as well. Another big feature we wanted was to reward creators for great content. So we have top content airdrops every day where our top 100 posts are airdropped our token. In addition, we also wanted to have creator tokens in place, which allows users to sell their brand in hopes to get investments to create better content in the future. So how's it going? Well, pretty well. We started marketing this project only March 5th, and since then I've amassed 42,000 verified Discord users and a following of 4,200 users on Twitter. We're currently doing onboarding research right now and plan to launch our mainnet June 30th. So our team. Our team is a very young team. We have an average age of 24 years old. We're led by Ryan, our CEO, who's a full stack developer with eight years of experience. Reese is another developer. I myself lead the marketing and sales efforts. We have Jake, who leads the branding and copywriting. Hayden's one of our community leads, and we have our lovely intern, Jack. So how do you get involved? With weekly competitions going on, early access, and a UX Sunny underway, we hope you'll join our Discord to learn more about our project. We intend to make for it the, the future of Social Web 3 and plan to do just that. We hope to talk to you later at the tables. Thank you very much.